What up, Mad Leaf? Whoop, whoop. All right, let's do this. Boom. Oh, uh, didn't mean to push that button. Okay. So today's LT, I will solve problems using medians and triangles. And to fill out this warm-up, I'm going to take you right to it. Use the pictures to name all angle pairs and their relationships between the angles. Ready, set, go. All right, I'm assuming you paused it, did it. Remember, guys, core, uh, alternate interior or opposite on the inside. Interior is inside the two line transversals right here and or two parallel lines and exteriors on the outside of the two parallel lines so like two and one and seven and eight so here we go corresponding angle one corresponds to angle five they're just opposite angles that are congruent and that's the deal these are congruent because you're supposed to show their relationships alternate interior are these opposite ones right here like four and six three and five those are also congruent then alternate exterior like one and seven two and eight are uh, also congruent Last but not least is same side interior, so like 3, 6, 4, 5. Guess what? Those are supplementary. They add to 180, which makes sense because if 2 is the same as 6, 2 and 3 are a linear pair. They'd add to 180, so would 3 and 6. All right. There we go. Let's move on to the next item, which is vocabulary. It's going to be pretty, pretty quick because a lot of this is just going to be you guys pausing it, writing stuff down, and then rolling on. So we're skipping orthocenter. You're welcome. Trust me. You're welcome to look it up. We're not doing it right now. But we are going to do median centroid altitude of triangle and median, right? A line segment with endpoints that are at the vertex of the triangle and the midpoint of the opposite or the side opposite of the vertex. We'll talk more about that later. Just go ahead and write it down. Centroid is the point of concurrency of the medians. It's where the medians in a triangle meet at a single point. And then altitude of the triangle is a segment from a vertex of the triangle to the line containing the opposite side and the perpendicular to that side. Boom, pause this, write it down, we're moving on. Because our last is the centroid theorem. Centroid. So median lines, by the way, what it's talking about, a median line goes from a vertex to the middle of the opposite line. So this is the opposite side of the triangle and it connects right here, cutting it in half. And that's what median lines do. And they meet together here at the centroid. So write this down. The medians of a triangle intersect at a point called the centroid that is two thirds of the distance from each vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. I have some things. Go ahead and write this down. Um, I, I do want to show it to you though a little differently. So feel free to pause this, but I'm going to go back to um, what I got going on, boom, right here. Okay, notice I did it a little differently right here. So write the words the same, back up, pause it if you need to, but I want you to write it down where AP equals two thirds AK. So we're just talking about AP, the distance right here, is two thirds of the whole distance AK. The part they didn't write down, but that matches with it. So if AP is two thirds, then PK is the last third to make the whole line, right? So it's a third of the distance. Just know that going through it. So that remaining line segment is one third. And there's ways they have you solve these. But let's go ahead again, pause this, write down what you need to write down, and then let's move on. So triangle MNL, P is the centroid and NC is 36. So NC, that whole distance is 36. Find NP and PC, okay? So, honestly, guys, I do this a little differently. Kind of the way they're wanting you to do it is say, hey, NP equals 2 thirds times 36, which I guess I do do it this way. It's just you're dividing by 3, right, and multiplying times 2. So when I divide by 3, 3 goes in 3 once, 36, it goes in 2 12 times, and what's 2 times 12? It's 24. Boom. So that's NP. And if 2 times 12 is 24, then that means that PC is just equal to 36 minus, or minus 24, which equals what? 12? Now guys, how I would personally do it most of the time, I'd just say if the whole thing's 36, I'd just say 36 divided by 3 equals 12. So that means PC is 12 because it's one third, and then this is the remaining 24. That's kind of how I do it. You'll see it over here. So go ahead and pause that. That's how you work on it. Let's look at this one. Find KP 
if pt equals 2. Well, if that's 2, and that's 1 third, then I know this is 2 of those, right? So what's 2 times 2 is 4. So I know that kp equals 4. It's really that easy, guys. You just use what you know about being a third. It's, it's a third. It's one of the three parts. Okay, well, that's it for today. After this is the homework, so let's get on it. You ready, set? Peace out.